new DC Multiverse figures from McFarland Toys, updated looks at the G.I. Joe Classified Crimson Guard Commander Wave, Voltron from 3-0, and a whole lot more. So let's jump right into it. Hey everybody, welcome to a Wednesday edition of TNI News. I'm JC, of course. We've got a lot to cover today, though I'm actually going to try and keep it fairly short today. But let's start off as just a reminder that tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, Hasbro will be holding another live stream the second of the week. And this time it will be with the G.I. Joe brand team. So I talked about this last week, but um, I don't know exactly what is going to be shown tomorrow during the live stream. I'm hoping the next wave of classified figures, which should include the Crimson Guard, the Dusty, and Zorana. So that, those are the figures that are slated for the next wave after the one with uh, uh, Tomax and Zayma and Stalker. Now, as I mentioned last week, the wave that wave with the Crimson Guard Commanders and Stalker will be going up for pre-order actually tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Time along with the Cobra Viper 3-pack. So those were all things that they showed off at the last live stream and those will be going up for pre-order um, tomorrow. So um, everywhere, including our sponsors, Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth. Now, whatever else they show, I really don't know. The theme of, of the live stream tomorrow is the 40th anniversary of G.I. Joe. Um, there's been some rumors that there's a new Transformers G.I. Joe collaborative figure, thanks to a listing that popped up in GameStop. However, the GameStop listing was code-worded, and you know I, I'm not sure if people are just kind of uh, guessing that it's G.I. Joe related. Um, uh, there's nothing I've seen that suggests that it is, and likely it's looking like it will be a GameStop exclusive if that, in fact, is what it ends up uh, being. But um, hopefully, you know, if that is the case, we'll get details on that tomorrow as well. But we will have full coverage of everything up on TNI, and then I will be talking about all the reveals. So I'll have a live stream tomorrow, so we'll be talking about that tomorrow evening, and then I'll be back on Friday with a regular news video. Super 7 today dropped this teaser image of what you can see appears to be the Disney character Stitch. Now, while you can't specifically tell from this image whether this is a teaser for something for Reaction or Ultimates, I did some checking of my own, and I can tell you that this is in fact a teaser for the next wave of Disney Ultimates figures, which Super 7 says will be going up for pre-order tomorrow. So we'll go up early afternoon on the Super 7 website and then should be available everywhere, including our sponsors, Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth later in the afternoon. I don't know exactly what figures will be in this wave, but if you're into the Disney Ultimate stuff, you'll probably want to keep an eye on the internet tomorrow afternoon. Now, as I've mentioned before, McFarland Toys is going to be officially doing their Toy Fair reveals starting on Friday and throughout the weekend, but already they've showed off a few preview images. So uh, just yesterday, we got this preview image of their Season 7 CW Flash figure. So this is one that we'd seen listings for previously, so it's now confirmed. Um, and I believe this will be going up for pre-order sometime next week, along with the second figure that they showed uh, just today, which is the DC Rebirth version of Godspeed. So a bunch of Flash figures. And they definitely said it's going to be next month when this one will go up for pre-order, but I think that just means next next week. So, um, uh, you know, and whether we see more of these uh, this weekend or, you know, it'll be next week when they go up for pre-order, we get the official images, I'm not sure. But, but uh, both of these figures are coming to the DC Multiverse line. On the NECA front, uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that a bunch of things that were revealed over the weekend, this past weekend, for their Toy Fair reveals, a number of them have gone up for pre-order. So on the NECA store website, currently available for pre-order, are those two animated series sets. I talked about these in the last news video. This is the one with Smash and Zack the Fifth Turtle, as well as the, the Ninja Turtle Goon. Uh, or the Crooked Ninja Turtle Goon, I should say, and and um, the the Rock Soldier. So uh, those uh, both are available for pre-order now on NECA's website, and they went up yesterday and was said they'll be available for 10 days. So it's the made-to-pre-order kind of thing, so you don't have to worry about them actually uh, selling out. Now, besides that, a number of other things went up for pre-order at places like our sponsors, Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth. So several of the comic book based figures that had been announced this past weekend, including the Archie Comics version of Slash, 
as well as the uh, IDW version of the Last Ronin, the armored one. Now, there will be a second one without the shirt, but right now just the uh, clothed one is is available for pre-order. And then uh, the final one is one of the Mirage comic figures, uh, the Rennet figure. That is now available for pre-order as well. So again, you can get all three of those at places like our sponsor, Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth. And then we got kind of a tease. Uh, this is a video that was put up by uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle co-creator Kevin Eastman. He is doing a promo video for the upcoming NECA Holothon event that they're teaming up with Target with. I talked about that in the last news video that kicks off on March 18th. It'll be a reveal every Friday uh, for something NECA related that will be sold exclusively at Target. Uh, we don't know exactly what those items will be, but again, that will be kicking off on March 18th. But in this video that Kevin Eastman did, um, there was a couple of new unannounced sets, uh, NECA sets that you could see were somewhat visible, not clearly, but but you get a decent enough look that you can tell it looks like one of them is a four pack featuring, uh, I believe those are the animated series turtles. Now this is something NECA has said that they were going to be doing, re-releasing the animated series turtles as a four pack. So, and they had said that that was going to be at Target. So, um, my guess is this will be one of the Holothon items. And essentially, this is a way to uh, get people, uh, you know, who missed out on the turtles the first time around uh, be, to be able to get them. Now, I, I assume there will be some slight changes to them, maybe some added accessories and stuff. You know, we can't see from this image exactly what's included. But it does look like a, a, a turtle four pack for the animated series is coming. And then the other one is is kind of cool. It's Super Bebop, or at least it looks like it's Super Bebop and Mighty Rocksteady, the robot versions of those characters that were that appeared in the cartoon. So um, it looks like that is something that's going to be coming from NECA fairly soon as well. For you 112 Collective fans, going up for pre-order just today on the Mezco website as a Mezco exclusive is a new Batman 2-pack. This is a Golden Age Batman versus Two-Face. So they had previewed the, the set, I, I think it was this past summer they previewed it, but it is now available for pre-order on the Mezco website. And uh, this set includes, uh, obviously, Batman uh, with like his blue cowl and, and shorts and everything. Again, this is based on the Golden Age version. You get four different head sculpts, including an unmasked Bruce Wayne head. You get uh, multiple pairs of hands. You get a stand. You get uh, some other accessories as well, some uh, punching effects and batterings and things like that. And then uh, the second figure, again, is Two-Face. With that one, you get two different head sculpts, multiple pairs of hands. Uh, with both of them, you get the flight stand. Two-Face also comes with a briefcase with some dynamite in it and some knives and coins, uh, both for uh, you know just holding or flipping. So as I said, that set is available for pre-order now. And then coincidentally, they also put up for pre-order on their website today a 112 Collective Weapons Pack. They're calling it the Double Trouble Weapons Pack. So not technically uh, made for this Batman Two-Face 2-Pack, but I think, you know, these are weapons that you could definitely see, like, uh, Two-Face using. You know, I, I have a feeling they're not allowed to include guns with, with figures like Two-Face, thanks to the uh, Warner Brothers directive. But, um, you know, this 2-Pack is available, so you can use it with any of your 112 Collective figures. And as I said, both, both are available exclusively on the Mezco website. Free Zero has released official images for their new Voltron figure, which is part of their Robo uh, DOU line, uh, is what they are calling it. Now, this figure is said to stand about 10.6 inches tall. You can, you know, basically have them in the individual lions or combine them together. And of course, it's it, when they're combined that it's going to stand about 10.6 inches tall. He comes with his blazing sword, a spinning laser blade with handle. You also uh, get, you know, individual weapons for the lions and such. So um, this has not yet gone up for pre-order at places like our sponsor, Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth, but I believe it will be going up pretty soon. For you Star Trek fans out there, those Star Trek Prodigy figures I talked about last week that's coming from Playmates Toys. These are five inch figures based on the new animated series that streams on Paramount Plus put out through Nickelodeon. So pretty good series overall, even though it's technically made for the kids. And again, Playmates is doing figures of the main crew, including the hologram Janeway, though we still don't actually have a look at that particular figure. But these figures, including the Janeway without images, are available for pre-order now at Big Bad Toy Store. Also up for pre-order are those two recent uh, Predator figures that were uh, fully revealed this past weekend. 
So this includes the, the Stoneheart figure, uh, the ultimate Stoneheart figure, as well as that Predator 2 Shaman figure. So again, both of these figures are now available at places like our sponsor, Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth. Boss Fight Studio yesterday, as part of their Toy Fairs re uh, reveals, uh, showed off a new line that they're doing uh, based on dinosaur warrior type uh, characters. So uh, uh, they're they're calling this line a uh, Sorzoic, I, I think is how you say it. Again, they're essentially dinosaur uh, like characters. They come with various weapons. They're brightly colored. Uh, they actually look pretty good. Um, they are said to be in about six inch scale, though the characters will vary in size. There will be an entire backstory uh, made up for these guys. So, you know, this is Boss Fight Studios' own line. Um, and if you like dinosaur type characters, this is probably, you know, something that you want to check out. And then they also, uh, this week from Boss Fight Studio, we got the second wave of six inch Popeye classic figures. So these are available for pre-order now at places like Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth. Now this wave is going to include figures of Wimpy. I gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. We've got Poop Deck Pappy, which is Popeye's father. We've got the Sea Hag with her vulture. And finally, we've got Popeye wearing his white sailor suit. So that is the second wave of figures. If you're into the classic Popeye cartoon, these are ones that you're probably going to want to check out. And again, these are available for pre-order now. Now switching over to Marvel. So um, again, already up for pre-order, as I mentioned previously in the last video. Uh, you're, I'm sure you're already aware of this, but that new Marvel Legend wave that was shown off on Monday with the US agent, the controller builder figure wave, that's available for pre-order. So is the Rhino figure on the Spider-Man retro card back uh, packaging. And then uh, as a Pulse exclusive, that X-Men animated series Storm figure. Those are all available for pre-order. They went up um, yesterday. So uh, as I said, I'm sure you're probably already aware of that. And then today we got some reveals for some new Mayfex figures. So we are getting a, a new Iron Man Mark 50 from the movies for the Mayfex line, which is going to come with all the various armor attachment pieces like you see in the movies. And then um, for X-Men, we are getting Storm. So based on our Jim Lee outfit, the white outfit. So you might have a decision to make on whether you want to get that new X-Men animated Marvel Legend one from Hasbro or possibly think about getting the Mayfex one or who knows, maybe you'll get both if you're that big of a Storm fan. Now with the Storm figure, she has a soft goods cape or whatever you want to call that, the straps that attach to her arms. You've got three different head sculpts with this figure. And then she of course comes with multiple pairs of hands and some lightning effects. So um, these have not yet gone up for pre-order at places like our sponsor, Big Bad Toy Store, Entertainment Earth, but they should be going up very soon. Okay, so that's it for today. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts on everything I talked about down in the comment section below. Please think about liking this video and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Also hit that bell notification so you're alerted every time I upload a new video. As always, guys, stay safe out there, and until next time, I'll catch you later. Hey, thanks for watching today's video and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that bell notification to alert it every time I upload a new video. And be sure to head over to the Toy News International and Marvelous News Message Sports Communities. It's a great place to talk toys and win cool contests like $100 store credits to Big Bad Toy Store. And remember, action figures are great.